Hello everybody, I'm Realm Builder Guy, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Here with uh, our, our Earl of Ross and his family. Of course, the last episode expanded the holdings from the British Isles over to Norway. And like I had mentioned, the goal now will be to... Uh, get rid of those tooltips. Is to expand from here. So if we look down here... Uh, they're, they have a truce with Ivar the Boneless, and they're attacking Bjorn Ironside of Upland uh, in the Sogan Conquest of the Earldom of Cheshire. So, uh, they're a little little preoccupied right now, and uh, their levies are down substantially. So, uh, the goal here would be to well, take them, because Sogan, they are allied with Magnus of Moray. And he is allied with, oh, well, just them. So that's that's kind of the next place to go. But I think we're going to move further down south. Uh, these guys uh, have some pretty substantial allies. Uh, so we're just going to focus on them right now. Now, the one thing we need to keep in mind is, of course, um, you know, we need a rally point. We need to do something here with our military. Now, if we would allow them to rally in Dingwall, that means they first have to go all the way over here, which time these guys could attack. So we're going to add a new rally point here. Uh, location, eh, let's go with right there. All right. And we will select this one, and we will raise all here. Uh, that'll get our military over there. And let's do that real quick. And unpause as our military builds up there. Slowly, very slowly, but surely. Um, and then do we have more coming over here? So we're, we're, we're growing, and there we go. We've got our full military. Now we can go down here and hit pause, actually. I first have to declare war, probably. I hoped it would not come to this, but I am left with no option. I must rescind your appointment as Chancellor of Alba. Okay. Um, whatever, dude. We... Ah, uh, the army is raised. Alright, so first we have to disband our armies. Then, we could declare war. And... Conquer the county. Declare war. And now hit pause. Raise all here. There we go. I didn't know that was part of the mechanic. But uh, we will we will see how things go. Oh! Duke Asnar of Aragon has announced to the world that he and his vassal have converted to... Bogom... Bogomilism? Okay. Um, having become disillusioned with the teachings of Catholic priests, the nobles of Aragon no longer consider the clergy to be righteous. Okay. okay. Well, screw you. Alright. So we're going to wait for... Our military has now... completely come together. And we will go forward and hopefully conquer... Another territory in Norway for the righteous cause of our Catholic faith. Can't forget, very zealous. And converting these heathens is very, very important. Probably the most important thing. Well, I mean, it's not, but the ultimate goal is to faction created against you. Uh, Hordafiki has given rise to the peasant rabble targeting you. Okay. So again, this this could be problematic. We see people coming in here, but we'll see how long this takes. If we can capture this. Again, the goal here is to extend extend the holdings here so that we can get larger force put together and more money and then extend our holdings in Scotland. To unify Scotland into one kingdom under House Morgan's rule. And that's the ultimate goal. 
how long it takes and whether we get there or not, that'll that'll be an entirely different story. But the siege will be over here. So Ross is under siege. Uh, but I'm not too worried about that because this siege will be over here very shortly. And it is. We'll enforce our demands. So be it. Boom. Alrighty. And we got 15 coins. So now we can disband all of our armies. And now uh, we have extended our earldom across the sea. So now if we take a closer look. So here's Alba. All of Alba. Under King Constantine II. Um, if we look at Sutherland... So they can bring a total of 1,300 troops. Buchan, about 1,000 troops. So it looks like Buchan controls the islands here and here. And Sutherland controls the islands there. Uh, as far as other places in Scotland, we have uh, Chieftain Ulf. He can bring up 900 men. Strathclyde is a little bit more... And they're in a war, defending against Jarl Hrana Hrafnsson. And, um, but they, they have 418. And then if we look here, uh, then Strathern bring in 639. And 5, 765. Ross now is 477. We can bring up 557. So we still have a long ways to go to be able to do anything here. We're losing prestige per month. Held counties, unraised men at arms. Okay. Your liege has passed the law of high tribal authority. Um, titles can be revoked. Vassals can be retracted. Direct vassal opinion minus 10. Oh, okay. So we're getting a little bit of a uh, not great. You can declare a crap ton of wars. If we look at this, I mean, that's just a lot. We can create a duchy. We need 125 to become a duke. The Duchy of Vestland. Raid. Oh, we can raid, of course. We can raid our neighbors for money. Uh, but I don't know if I want to do that at this point. Uh, we're still trying to figure things out here. So they are 195. They can go up to 295. They can bring in 518. So combined forces stronger than ours. These guys can bring up 1,300. I mean, their levies are 300. Their light footmen is 300. And they have 700 mercenaries. So, um, but we're going to tick the money over here a little bit. And add the duchy. Active elections. We can raid. We can fabricate claims. I wouldn't mind raiding. Uh, let's see... Hildeberg has gained major architectural expertise. Hmm. Interesting. So who are they saying we should raid? Raid Sogen Filki. Okay. Oh, Zogen. All right, the ones just to the north of us. So we could theoretically raid them. But... Uh, I don't think I'm going to raid just just yet. We're going to wait a little bit. It looks like the guys to the south of us have lost. And now Telemark has gotten stronger, bigger. Chieftain Anders Rolson, Telemark. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Toil and hard work. My son and heir, Wolfhart, has been impressed with one of the household champions for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, he has been repeating the warrior's words to himself. Work hard and you can master anything. Indeed, hard work will bring him where he wants. So he keeps the trait diligent. It's plus one diplomacy, martial, stewardship, intrigue, and learning. Stress gain plus 20%. Opinion of diligent characters plus 10. Lazy characters minus 10. And these will add stress. And that's a nice indicator of if you were to role play, so to speak. If stress goes up, that means you're going against what your character believes. So we're going to keep going with that. 
And we can now declare a duchy. Uh, give us that title. Now wait um, a little bit longer. Franconian War for Lutheringa. Okay. Slavonia. The Attackers Kingdom of East Francia. Defenders Kingdom of Lutheringia, who is allied with our liege lord. I'm not going to worry about that. But let's get broke. Let's go broke. And declare the duchy. So we receive 300 prestige. Prestige, very, very important. We will create that title. And we are now high chief, a mighty high chieftain. So that's the ducal title. And we've got Vestlont, no longer Ross. <laughs> uh, glory is widely known. So now we're going to be making a little bit more money. We've jumped up to distinguished in our level of fame, which is very important. Our piety is very good. And our renown is uh, slowly growing. Um... So now Ross is the Duchy of Westland. So, I mean, again, these are the Scandinavian Scots. The goal is still Scotland, okay? Uh, we just have to work out a little bit more to get there. Um, so our total levies right now, what we can bring to bear are 608. Again, that's 401 levies, 200 light footmen. We're gaining about three levies per month. And we will need to add more as we go. But the total is 885. Uh, but we're not in a position right now to declare a war. But let's take a look at how things are going. For Morgane, uh, are all the children betrothed? I have a spouse, spouse, no spouse. All right, so he is nine. And let's see what we can do here as far as good betrothals. Well, I mean, they have to be Catholic. So actually, let's just go religion, Catholicism. Uh, 43 years old. Ugh, they're old. Alliance power. Here we go. Ferlix, I don't know, India, Verona, Finois, Pula, Rotenburg, Neuss, Lichtenfels. So it's Ferlix. Where is? Oh, okay. So we're looking at. The County of Ferlix in uh, down here in Wales, which isn't bad. I mean, it's British. But. All right. Whole body. Uh, let's continue down this path here. We've got everything done here. We need to get these done. So let's go with restraint. You could take embrace celibacy or abandon celibacy decisions. Ugh. Carefree. All right. Unlock. And now we've reduced stress overall. So we can't really forge many more alliances through marriage. Oh, our simple palisade is constructed. Uh, and I think that gave us more levies. It did. So we can muster a total of just shy of 1,000 soldiers. Uh, which is very, very nice. Uh, let's take a closer look what else we can do here. Let's look at Dingwall itself. What's the next? I mean, we don't have money. Um, but we can do war camps, gathering hills, market. So we can increase our tax revenue, supply limit, increase our levies, control growth, prestige growth. It's nice. But war camps gives 150 more levies. Number of knights plus one. Knight effectiveness plus 10%. Heavy infantry damage and toughness is up. And skirmisher damage and toughness is up. So I think this will probably, uh, the war camps uh, is where we will go next with expanding our holdings here. Now let's go across across the sea. King Constantine has been attacked by Jarl. Aha. Uh -huh. So the boneless. Let's see what, what we have here. Fort level two. 
So here too, we can build palisades. And... Oh, those are raiders. I don't even know what's going on. County corruption, smuggling ring. I don't even know what's going on there, but... It looks like Alba is in a war. So the question is, do we raise... Rise up to defend our home nation? Because Ivar the Boneless is bringing a lot of dudes. Um, if we look at this, he has 3,860. We have 4,000 total. But uh, I'm not really seeing. Well, they're not attacking Dingwall. This is all in Moray. So do we help and defend our home nation or abandon it more and more <laughs> for the sake of the North? Dingwall is now being attacked as well. Fort and Ross is being besieged by 17, just under 1,800 soldiers. We have 400 in there. I mean, if we meet him in open battle, we're going to have some problems. Um, there's no way we can defeat that force with our soldiers. Just have to wait for... Let's see, there's even more coming here. The first army of Elgin is moving up with 2,000. And we're going to lose Ross here soon. There's, there's really nothing we can do. Because Ivar the Boneless is attacking, attacking Alba. Now the question, of course, is... Do we just basically then change liege lords? And I have been captured, detained against my will by Jarl Ivar the Boneless. I am no longer free. I hope this does not last. Uh oh. We have one of our counselors died. A courtier died. So we've we've got some problems here, people. Um, and I'm hoping our king will actually do something. A uh, few champions. You can ask Head of Faith for gold. Wait, what? To spend my time separated from all the ones I love is a cruel punishment. I find myself seeking out any source of comfort, companionship, can find, but they are few. Won't someone just talk to me? You know, let's uh, let's ask for some gold. Well, at least at least get some cash. And what's happening here? Every day I spend as a prisoner of Ivar is another day. Carefully laid plans slip further from my grasp. True punishment is not the bodily confinement I find myself under. It is being incapacitated. Stress is going up more and more and more. Can I escape? Uh, you leave prison. The success of your attempt depends on the prowess and your traits. Oh, wait. To the Amical Mergain, I can... I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the peasant uprising. Yeah, sure, I'm in prison, sweetheart. I I'll definitely help you. I can't do anything. It's time to escape. It is becoming clear to me that I must take my fate in my own hands. It's also clear that I have every part of the walls are equally well guarded. I soon discovered, however, that the tunnels beneath the walls are dark and confusing. So only after numerous scrapes, rocks struck with my head, I managed to find a way out back to the courtyard. So I'm wounded, but I'm out. Let's invite... Let's invite uh, champions to court. All right, so I joined War Against Peasant Uprising, but I've, I've got some issues here. Uh, guys, we need to... We're going to raise our armies here. Because my worry is if we raise in Ross, 
we won't get very far. But our military has been cut down a lot. And, um... So... Where's the peasant uprising? All the way up there. But I got my own problems here. Am I still in prison? I've got some problems. Um, let's sail our army and land in Sutherland. See what we can do here to help in this battle against Ivar the Boneless. So we've got some friendly troops coming in. It'll be time to recapture Ross. Hopefully. Eventually. Soothing the pain. While I was at the market with Wolfhard, his attention was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. When the man begged for water, Wolfhard immediately promised to bring it. Soon returned from a nearby well, letting the criminal drink from the cupped water. Without kindness, everything falls apart. We're not going to add stress, because... Man, I got, I got plenty of problems here. Uh, trying to deal with peasant uprisings. And... Oh, boneless. Look at that army coming in here. They're going to completely destroy us. They're losing that battle. I fear... We're marching here. We're going to lose. Odds are. Uh, things are not looking good. No sheriff's appointed. Well, I don't really care about that right now. Let's go back and see if we can... Not enough soldiers to win the siege. There are more defenders than soldiers. But we can't take him on head-on. He's far too powerful. So... Hmm... There's our army. Alliances have expired or invalid. A champion has arrived. It looks like there's an uprising in Sutherland just to the north. There's so much going on here. Ugh, and there, here come all of Ivar's forces. To the vile hall chief of Morgan, we have been burdened with your oppressive laws for too long. No more. We are done paying you taxes. Once your coffers dry up, your larders are empty. You'll wish you had treated like, yes, I could grant a tax lien. Peasant rabble. Uh, increased autonomy. I can't, cannot deal with this. Battle of Inverness, we're going to get absolutely crushed here. Ivar the Boneless is close. Again, the people of Morena have finally been convinced to convert to the true faith. Brilliant work. Uh, we may have to uh, relocate permanently to Norway as Ivar the Boneless is on the rampage here. Um... It's not looking good. Islander Conquest of the High Chieftain of Moray. He has the Chieftain of Meath, Kingdom of Lotharingia, and on his side. I mean, it looks pretty equal, military-wise. Uh, got a few more. No, that's all the allies. But uh, so far, this war is not going well for Alba. The Kingdom of Alba and the future of Scotland... Um, raising armies right now. We only have 60. Um, we, we, we cannot attack. We basically have to wait and see what happens to our homeland as we continue to face defeat. So your neighbor, Jarl uh, Hrodar, has won against Margareta, the daughter of Chieftain of Sogan. Okay. 
Let's take a quick look at how things are shaping up here. So, um, we've got these guys. Jarl of Trendalog. They're pretty powerful. And then we have the Jarl of Agder. So it looks like the uh, Scandinavian rulers are consolidating their power. And of course, I'm still in prison. <laughs> That's not cool. And our liege lord is ticked off. He doesn't like us. Things are not looking good here uh, as the Isles continue to conquer Scotland. Um, Ivar the Boneless, son of Ragnar Lothbrok. Uh, they're just winning battle after battle and conquering city after city and holding after holding. Yeah, I've got low control. No kidding. Um, champions. Let's see. Ugh, God, you're not good. Not good renown, but there's not much else we can do here. This is where things are the way things are looking right now. We got plenty of cash. I wonder. Mercenaries. What can we buy? Nothing. Not available or not enough money. So we cannot get mercenaries. And as you can see here, the enemy factions are strong. They're taking Buchan next. And uh, here we've got Raiders of Dunkeld, so it's being raided as well. Where the hell is the King's army? We've got somebody coming here, but that's about it. We may have to retreat to our holdings in Norway before all is lost. And right now our military strength, we're still rebuilding. Uh, I think it'd be worthwhile to spend some money on some men-at-arms. We don't have enough money for that. Light footmen. Increase size to three. Victory! In the peasant uprising. Yeah, so be it. Good for you. Good for you, Iceland. It's not helping me, you know, but this isn't my war, technically. All right, a keen eye. Wolfhard seemed to enjoy our latest feast immensely of all the things he could not stop talking about, the rich clothes. These are the trappings of power by which our world is ruled. He keeps greedy. Sure, be greedy. Right now, I'm way more concerned about the fact that Scotland is falling to the Kingdom of the Isles. But I'd be very curious to know what happens. Do we retain our Earldom of Ross, or are we going to be living in exile in Norway next? Uh, let's do one more council thing here real quick. Oh, my spouse can't do anything. Uh, convert faith. Right there. So we've got... It's working to bring them into the, into the Holy Mother Church. Well, we're in prison, on the Isles, on the Inner Hebrides. Things are not looking good. A minus 50 war score. This war I don't even care about. There's another war going on here. It's uh, the, the Vikings are expanding and taking over the British Isles. The interesting question will be whether or not the Earl of Ross will then be a vassal of Ivar the Boneless, or will he be his own, you know, or will he just be kicked out and, and his lands taken over? The good thing is we do have our Norwegian holdings, and what that will then turn into, honestly, is uh, Scots in exile um, and trying to consolidate our power here and get back to Scotland and do something there. But first we have to see how this war ends. Um, for For them to claim complete victory, they do need to conquer the lowland areas as well but I I assume he's going to be doing that because um, even though the defenders have more soldiers I do not see an army in the field anywhere in Scotland and that has me 
very, very, very concerned. So I think we'll end things here for today. It's very dramatic. It's very bad as Ivar the Boneless continues his conquest of Scotland and uh, the future of the Earl of Ross and the House of Morgan is up in the air. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out anything here. Crusader Kings 3, City Skylines, or anything else on the channel. Until next time, I am Realm Builder Guy. I will talk to you then.